Everybody is online right now. There are 50 million worldwide Wi-Fi hotspots in 2015, and it's estimated that until 2018, there will be up to 340 million global hotspots. We have one Wi-Fi hotspot for every 150 people on Earth. By 2018, there will be one Wi-Fi hotspot for every 20 people on Earth. According to the AARP Fraud Watch Network report, more than a quarter, 27%, said they've banked online via public Wi-Fi in the last three months. Do you think we can hack a smartphone and get our hands on credit card info in less than a minute? Let's find out. Hackers have two common attack methods. The evil twin attack, where they create Wi-Fi hotspots that have the same or nearly identical name as the legitimate ones you trust, such as your favorite hotel or coffee shop. And the man-in-the-middle attack, where they provide a stronger Wi-Fi signal to get between you and the legitimate connection. To show you how easy it is to get hacked in a hotel lobby, we will now demonstrate the evil twin attack with the help of a professional security expert. All we need is a laptop with Wi-Fi capabilities, a web server with a phishing website, and a 3G modem. We create our Wi-Fi network and name it Hotel Wi-Fi, redirect all the traffic from anyone connecting to the network to our phishing website, and once they enter their credentials or credit card information, we just route all the traffic via the 3G modem so the victim appears as they are actually connected to the internet. And that's it. The hack is complete. And after that, they can easily infect your computer with keyloggers, trojans, stealing password software, monitor keystrokes, and collect important personal data about you, including security credentials for your work computer. He is browsing the web right now. We're going to steal his credit card details and buy a brand new smart TV. For reasons of security and privacy, we won't finish the purchase, but the damage is done. The credit card info was stolen in less than a minute. Sometimes when you're in a rush, uh, you just don't pay too much attention and you already have on your phone store the details of the credit card so it's like really easy to uh, go with the flow and uh, enter the data skip that step and just go online uh, especially if you have like just a few more minutes in which you can you, you need a wireless connection so yeah that was terribly easy and uh, it's kind of frightening to see that you can you know be so unsecure online to be safe always connect to a VPN before opening a browser when using public Wi-Fi.